Johnny Depp, since basically 2016, and especially since the end of 2018, has been on a quest. In fact, he outlined that quest during the defamation trial as his quest for truth. He wanted people to hear the truth and the whole truth during the defamation trial and beyond to help prove definitively that he never abed his ex-wife of Amber Heard, nor any other woman that he had been with during his life. The trial was six weeks long, and Depp himself didn't come off completely scot-free, but in the end, he won the case and now has been making lots of statements about moving forward. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number four, the original statement. Let's start at the beginning here. This was never about money for, for Mr. Depp. So this was about restoring his reputation and he's done that. Did Johnny Depp's lawyers just hint the actor may not collect his $10.4 million payout from ex-wife Amber Heard? Here's what we know. Benjamin Chu and Camille Vasquez dropped by Good Morning America on Wednesday. They repped Johnny in his defamation suit against Amber, which he won last week, and say the actor's more than satisfied with the outcome. George, we obviously can't disclose attorney-client communications, but as Mr. Depp testified and as we both made clear in our respective closings, this was never about money for, for Mr. Depp. In this case, that would be the beginning of June, when on the 1st, the verdict in the defamation trial finally came. The jury ruled that Amber Heard did defame Johnny Depp via her Washington Post op-ed piece that came out in 2018. They cited her on three different accounts of defamation due to that, and her punishment was to pay Johnny Depp $10.35 million, an amount that she and her lawyer state she cannot pay. The irony, though, was that despite things going exactly his way, Depp himself wasn't at the courthouse on the day the verdict came out. Rather, he was in the UK doing a musical thing with a friend as a surprise. Therefore, his statement came from across the ocean and yet was very emotional in terms of how freed he felt. Six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed. So this was about restoring his reputation, and he's done that. So they won't say for sure what will happen, but since it seems unlikely that Amber can afford the damages, Johnny might accept little to no payout. It sounds like that's something that could be on the table, but it's up to Ms. Heard. Again, we have to be careful what we say, um, but this was about Mr. Depp's reputation. That was what it was about for him. It was a total win for Johnny. <laughs> and he seems to be riding high on the win in court and the court of public opinion. It was like all in the blink of an eye. False, very serious and criminal allegations were levied at me via the media, which triggered an endless barrage of hateful content, although no charges were ever brought against me. It had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond, and it had a seismic impact on my life and my career. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I'm truly humbled. My decision to pursue this case, knowing very well the height of the legal hurdles that I would be facing and the inevitable worldwide spectacle into my life was only made after considerable thought. From the very beginning, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth, regardless of the outcome. Speaking the truth was something that I owed to my children and to all those who have remained steadfast in their support of me. I feel at peace knowing that I have finally accomplished that. The weight of the world had been taken off his shoulders, and I feel that finally, after six years, he's gotten his life back. The actor signed up for TikTok after the high-profile trial ended. Clips from the case went viral on the app over the course of the six-week legal battle. Ms. Heard, there is no question pending, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't be making argument to the jury. Sorry, I thought you would ask me about it. No, I didn't ask you about anything. In his first video, Johnny thanked his loyal and unwavering supporters and promised to move forward together, which didn't sit right with Amber. Her spokesperson told ET, quote, as Johnny Depp says he's moving forward, women's rights are moving backward. I am and have been overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and the colossal support and kindness from around the world. I hope that my quest to have the truth be told will have helped others, men or women, who have found themselves in my situation and that those supporting them never give up. I also hope that the position will now return to innocent until proven guilty, both within the courts and in the media. I wish to acknowledge the noble work of the judge, the jurors, the court staff, and the sheriffs 
who have sacrificed their own time to get this point, and to my diligent and unwavering legal team, who did an extraordinary job in helping me to share the truth. The best is yet to come, and a new chapter has finally begun. Veritas num com parrot, truth never perishes. This very much ties back into the intro we did, because Depp's quest for truth was very much about getting this exact result. He technically wasn't fully acquitted for the record, as the jury did rule that his former lawyer did defame Amber Heard. And in a separate statement, Amber's team slammed Johnny's lawyers for making the press rounds after the trial. Quote, it is as unseemly as it is unprofessional that Johnny Depp's legal team has chosen to do a victory lap for setting back decades of how women can be treated in the courtroom. Now, for what it's worth, Amber's lawyer also made the TV rounds before Johnny's. Well, her next move is appeal. There were but a she's number. Heartbroken and... She is heartbroken. Cut to Camille on Wednesday. She fired back at Amber's claims that talking about the case is unprofessional. I think it's disappointing. We're only speaking about what happened in this case, right? And the facts in this case were overwhelmingly positive for Johnny. But that technically wouldn't apply to Johnny Depp. Not to mention, she only got $2 million for that amount. So even if you took that out of the amount she owes Depp, he's going to get about $8 million. And now the world is very much talking about what Amber Heard did, whether she'll get punished for her lies, and so on, while Depp is coming off like a bunch of roses. Which brings us to now, where Depp decided to talk about his path forward even more. Number three, the Instagram video. Because on social media, specifically on Instagram, Johnny Depp went and released a video that showcased him going to the courthouse multiple times and being greeted by fans who supported him, all the while cutting to shots of him doing music at concerts, with him playing a variety of guitars, as well as potentially writing music. One thing he underlines in the video is the aptly titled Death and Resurrection, and in the caption for the video, he wrote the following. To all of my most treasured, loyal, and unwavering supporters, we've been everywhere together. We've seen everything together. We've walked the same road together. Depp posted on social media, accompanied by a video of him attending his trial and the crowds that appeared outside. We did the right thing together. And the verdict speaks for itself. Camille, who became a breakout star of the trial, also refutes claims that Johnny's win sets back the Me Too movement and might make victims of domestic abuse afraid to speak out. You don't see this as a setback to the movement in any way, shape, or form? We do not. Um, we believe that... The verdict speaks for itself. The facts are what they were. The jury made a unanimous decision based on those facts. Camille even goes as far as to point out that all evidence in the case came from Amber. I think that her impression on the jury was what it was. All because you cared. And now we will all move forward together. You are, as always, my employers. And once again, I am whittled down to no way to say thank you other than just by saying thank you. So thank you. My love and respect. JD. A very unique way to thank those who supported him, but if you think about it, Johnny Depp is a rather unique man. The point here is that this is a version of Johnny Depp that we haven't seen in a while. He's not being bogged down by the words of Amber Heard or the accusations of her lawyers. He won the court case, and now he's free to do his music, and potentially even go back into acting with all the joy and happiness that he wants without having to dread, potentially, a return to court. Number two, the big screen return. Here's where things get a bit more speculative, because given that Depp overwhelmingly won the court case with Amber Heard, many are wondering if this will signal a near immediate return to Hollywood. Never forget that before his quote downfall via the marriage with Amber Heard, in conjunction with other things, to be fair, such as drugs, Depp was one of Hollywood's A-list stars. Yes, he did have a lot of bad and questionable films at the end, but he had just as many hits, including the Pirates franchise, the first Alice in Wonderland movie, Public Enemies, Sweeney Todd, and more. He even got nominated for certain acting awards for some of the films that he did. I think something that I focused on and we focused on in that cross-examination was using her words against her. And it was very important for us to every question that was asked was tied to something she had said previously. And um, I think the jury got to see and the world got to see and hear from Miss Heard in that relationship on every single topic. But after the allegations arose from Amber Heard, he was fired from Pirates. He was forced to resign from Fantastic Beasts, and Hollywood very much wouldn't touch him due to the dark cloud that was hanging over him. Yet now that it's gone, could he come back and be an A-list star again? That is indeed the question, and at present there hasn't been a major casting for Depp. But then again, it's only been a week since the trial has wrapped up. What's more, there are no doubt studios out there who are testing the waters to see whether or not having Depp back is going to be a good thing for them. Look at the Will Smith situation for an example. Do you think that there was, there, was there a point during the trial when you said, I think we got this. I, I think we're winning this. So even maybe even towards the closings. 
we didn't want to be presumptuous enough to think that we were winning because it's very hard to read the jury, but we did think that Johnny's direct testimony and his performance on cross was excellent. And we also were happy with Camille Vasquez's masterful cross-examination of, of, of Amber Heard. And we think the contrast there was one of them was willing to take accountability and one of them appeared less willing to be accountable for certain things and appeared to have convenient answers for everything. So we felt that we had shown the contrast we wanted to. And then in, in closing, we felt that we were able to recapitulate it and remind the jury about what they'd heard over six long weeks. So that was our goal. And we felt, we felt happy about the way the evidence came in. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on television for all to see and it was no act. Will Smith is an A-list star who did a very bad wrong thing, and now many in Hollywood are freezing their plans with him. Will he come back? More than likely, but it'll take time and a move to be made. This is what needs to happen with Johnny Depp still. Someone needs to make that first move, trust him to do a great job on camera, and then we'll see where things go. Number one, moving forward. No matter what though, Johnny Depp can absolutely take solace in the fact that he won that defamation case and proved to a jury that he was at the very least hurt by the allegations that have never definitively been proven. So him moving forward is going to be interesting to watch because Depp is nothing if not unpredictable in certain fashions. He might choose to not return to Hollywood on his own accord, or he could go on a run that makes fans wish he was never banned from the movies. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. And there you have it everyone, a look at the most recent statement by Johnny Depp and how it punctuates his feelings on everything that has been going on with the trial and beyond. What do you think is the next true step for Johnny Depp? Will he get back into movies? Or is he truly going to move forward in a way that looks beyond all that hurt him before? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.